Okay. So you can see this thing is growing. Now, I want to know how much I get after 30 years, right? I could do this 30 times, but it's taking forever, right? It's literally like, you know, you're just punching in the buttons, takes a long time. So I want a faster way. I want a faster way. Here's the way I'm going to introduce it, okay? Have a look at this. Um, here, we're doing two steps each time. We're going principal, interest, add them up. Then you do interest and then you add them up again. Interest, add them up again. I want to go directly from one line to another. From this line to this line. Then from this line to this line. I want to go from P0 to P1 to P2 all the way to P3. So I want to skip a whole bunch of steps. How do I do it? Okay. Well, I want you to write down these numbers for me, okay? Um, let's put it in a little bit of a table. Okay. So I'm going to go P0 is 5,000. Okay. P1 is 5,300. P2, and we've gone up to P3. Now, I want you to have a look at these numbers. Whoop. How are they getting bigger? How are they getting bigger each time? And is there a way we can do this faster? Okay. Well, going from here to here, I multiplied the 0.06, and then I added the original back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 From here to here, right, I'm multiplying by 1.06. Can you see that? Get your calculator and check it. The 1 represents the original number. And the 0 0.06 represents the interest. the interest that gets added on. Exactly right. If I do it again from here to here, I'm just doing it by 1.06 again. Right? This one, what does that represent? The principal. What does the 0 0.06 represent? The new interest. Every time. Right? Okay, so therefore, if we wanted to get to P4, rather than just work out the interest separately and then go to the next step, right? I can just multiply by, you know, this part, which is the original principle, and this part, which is the interest. So can we multiply this by 1.06? What do you get? Can we check it? Can I get out my calculator and work it out faster than you can? Uh, probably. <laughs> 5955 five, five, and 8 cents. Yeah, oh, too fast for me. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, 6312. 6312? 3348. 3348? 3848. 3848. So 38, that's what it would round to. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, that's a really messy 6. It started off as a 5. It does. It's just a bad number. Okay, there you go. So this thing's growing and it's growing faster. <laughs> It's compounding, okay? Now, I don't want P4 or even 5, 6, 7, or 8. I want to know what happens after 30 years. So, just like I did here, I could do all these steps. I could multiply by 1.06 and 1.06 and 1.06 again and again and again. Ah, but in number skills, you learn how to do this all in one hit rather than doing it one at a time. How do I write this in a faster way? Hmm. Is it 31.8? Wait, what's 31.8? Like, okay, see all the 1.06? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. <laughs> We're on the right track. It does have to do with this. Anyone else got another idea? Yeah. 1.06 times 30. Okay, so we could do this, right? Well, that's what I did. I, is that where you got the 31.8? Yeah. You could say 1.06 multiplied by 30. Ah, but stop. See that times 30. That's exactly the same as simple interest, right? We don't actually want to multiply by 30. That'll still do it the same way as before. Each time you'll get the same amount, okay? It's not going to be times 30. It's actually... Ah, now, division would make things smaller, wouldn't it? We want things to get bigger. It's actually to the power of 30. Can you see that? Let me see if I can write this part out again. You know, this bit here. That's 5,000, the original amount, right? Times 1.06, okay? Well, 
I don't have to calculate what that number is. I can just do it times 1.06 again, but we have shorthand for that, which is index notation, right? That's 5,000 times 1.06 squared. Or 5,000 times 1.06, what will be next? Mm. Cubed, right? Mm. 5,000, 1.06 to the 4. So if I multiply by, well, sorry, not multiply, raise it to the power of 30, that's what I'm going to get. 5.7, 4, 3, 4, 9, 1, 1, 7, Okay. 5.7, 4, 7, Hold on. Now hold on a second. I don't just want that number on its own, I want that multiplied by my principal. That's how I got yeah, all these numbers. So multiply by 5,000 and what do you get? Should be a pretty big number, right? Uh, 28,700. 28,700. Is that right? Yep. No, no cents after that? Are there cents? <laughs> Is anyone else, can we verify that? Has anyone else got the same result? 5,000 times 1.06 to the power of 30. Nice. Did anyone else work it out? No. Oh yeah, I've got a different other side. Yeah, no, that, there's something else, there's other bits on there. I didn't expect it to be such a round number. Yes, yeah, 2817. Yeah, yeah, Luke. Um, I missed it, where'd you get the uh, 1.06 from? Yeah, okay. So going from one step to the next, okay, all the way down here, this is what's going on. Okay. How do I get 5300? Where'd the 300 come from? Yeah, that's right. The 1 represents the original principle, 1, a lot of the principle, and the 0 0.06 represents 6% 6 of it, the interest. Okay. So going from here to here, you multiply by that, that gives you the new amount. And then you just do it again. Every year, that's what you do. Okay. So if I do it 30 times, this is what I do. Does that surprise you? Have a look at the number. How does it compare to our original? This is, this is what I originally got at the end. That's more than double. That's more than double. That's amazing. Okay. So that's why compound interest is so much better. Yeah. Yeah, off you go. Yes, please. Okay, so let's put all this together. Yeah, last question. Um, just, I don't know, when I was figuring out, I didn't do it. I was figuring out, I did like an estimate. estimate. Yeah, S you, estimate. what did you estimate? Like I did, because um, after three years, you technically got it. Uh, oh, my bad, hold on. I thought that was 59,000. Cool. Yeah, you see it now? Is it okay? Hey, no joke, by the way. Can I just say, like, it's so important to try and explain something because often you think you understand something and then you start to explain to someone else and you're like, wait, never mind. I have no idea what I'm talking about, right? But you don't know that until you try and explain it. Okay, so let's summarize. Let's summarize. I'm going to give you a new formula, okay? So I'm going to turn this on. Faster. This is our simple interest formula. Okay, simple interest. I'm going to give you a new formula, a compound interest formula. Okay, so you want to put this in big colorful letters, right? Compound interest formula. Okay, so here's what it works out. Firstly, this compound interest formula, hey Tom, I wouldn't be surprised if you got up, no, 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 like seriously, if anyone gets up and starts explaining to someone, some, you know, when everyone's listening, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, well, I don't know, you do the same. Yeah, yeah, let's, okay. Now, this formula gives you interest, right? This formula gives you interest. <laughs> But this formula that we've been developing, it doesn't give you just the interest. It actually gives you what the whole bank account is worth. The whole amount that you have after one or two or three years. Not just how much interest you've got, okay? So therefore it doesn't start off I equals. It starts off A equals, A for amount, okay? Now after that, the piece that you get on the right hand side 
are exactly the same as these pieces, but they are arranged differently. I'll show you. You still start with the P, the principal. Okay. But what you multiply by is not the rate, it's 1 plus the rate. Okay. Can you see here, see this 6%, that's where it is, right? So this is 1 plus 6%. 1 plus 0 0.06, which is 1.06. Okay. Now, every year, you multiply it by that 1.06, that 1 plus the interest rate, over and over again, however many times. Once, or twice, or three times, or 30 times. So what goes up here is the end, the number of years, or the number of months, or the time. Right? So just like with that one, it can be N or T. This can be N or T as well. They refer to the same thing, how long it's been in there. So, simple interest, compound interest, two differences. Number one, this one just gives you the interest, whereas this one gives you the whole amount in the bank account. Okay. Number two, this is just straight multiplying, but this is tricky. This has got like index notation in it. It's a bit tricky. Okay. 